I see health up here though. I'll take that. Ooh, loads of health. This is clearly a filling station. <laughs> to fill up myself. Came in this way. I guess we're going all the way around. Yeah, this is definitely going to be me being lost for a good while now. Hmm. Well, that sells it. There must be a way to blow this shit up. And I won't rest until I've found it! Can I make it all the way up here? No, nope, too steep. Okay... Let's go behind this building and see what we can find. Yeah, there's definitely a way to blow this shit up. Or maybe this is where I stop using the hovercraft. I wouldn't mind that really. I, I prefer the shooting on foot. I think it is. Oh, cool. Up oh, now. Oh, there's something to pull here. What does this do? Gate override. Oh wait, it's overrided. Now I have to go through there. Okay, okay. Get up there. Eject. It's getting dark. Don't take off too much health! Hmm. Should I go, uh, recharge myself? Ah, fuck it. I have a better chance of dying, and Lord knows you guys enjoy that a lot more. And for curiosity's sake, what's over here? Absolutely nothing. Thank you. I reckon I could get up there. Okay, my curiosity has friggin' got the better of me here. Heck, there probably is a way up there, but I'm too lazy. Alrighty then. Uh oh, another ramp. Gordon Freeman can't just do things subtly, can he? He's got to go balls out. <laughs> Did we live? We have to wait a loading screen to find out. Black Mesa East. Right, this is definitely the time to get off this thing. We've had one too many epic jumps to last us an entire lifetime. We'll be ready when Half-Life 2 Episode 3 comes out. HA! <laughs> I'm so funny! <laughs> Get it? Because it'll take more than a lifetime to come out? <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. It's getting eerie. Listen to that music. <gasps> Crickets. Where the 
fuck do I go? Forgive the scanning process. We can't take any chances. Dr. Freeman? Gordon Freeman? Is that <laughs> you? You've made it here this quickly. Well, Eli is going to be amazed, not to mention relieved. Hell yeah, I'm Dr. bitch. Dr. Mossman, Dr. Judith Mossman. I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. Oh, Black Mesa. I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Kleiner when they are at the top of their field. Ah. There we go. You can come through now. All right, time for some scripted events. Right away. You would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. <laughs> we could certainly use the extra help around here. We've covered a lot of ground in the last few months, but things would go so much faster if we had more people with your training. We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology. Something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based. Similar to our Kalabi Yao model. But they failed to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement... Oh. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Listen to me, I sound like a postdoc. I, I, I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. Where was I? Oh, yes. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined at Black Mesa. We figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis. Effectively, a dimensional <laughs> slingshot, so we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to pass through. Oh, here's a Eli now. All right, good. Keep right on. Eli, look who I found in the airlock. Gordon Freeman. Don't stare at his leg. Let Don't stare. Don't stare. Name. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now, let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. Oh, I don't Let me think so. Door, I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Feel free to look around. What we got here? Oh, <laughs> plutonium, lovely. What's he going here? Ah, uh, Vortigon guy. We've almost got that portal working again. But I wouldn't blame you if you didn't volunteer for the next trial run. How could I not? I can't refuse. I don't have a voice. How long have I recorded for? I have no idea. What time is it? I've just been sitting here in the dark, not knowing where I am or who I'm going or where I'm gonna. Not making any sense. Anyway, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I've only recorded for about half an hour. Uh, oh crap! You're recording shit. Sorry. Damn right, I'm. Recording Mother Fecker Also say hi Well say hi PK You went to this bother of bugging me on Steam Huh <laughs> hi yeah right now shut the fuck up <laughs> Oh Gordon The Vortigon said you were here I can't believe you made it so quickly on foot I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. 
I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon can't handle. With the impossible exception of It's their advertised for my channel here. Ugh, 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 ugh. You fucking shameless. PK191, you are absolutely shameless. Take a look at this, Gordon. What do we got? Is it the Philosopher's Stone? Oh god. <laughs> hey Alice. Ooh. This is fucking sick. <laughs> okay, forget I did that. Forget I did that. I'm gonna do it again. Alright, where do I go now? Alex! I thought you were on watch. The Vortigons relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here, working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No, not at all. There's a calculation error. Bitch fight! The then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time, as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> Alex, why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Sure. Come on, Gordon. Let's go have some fun.